Okay, what we're going to do now is basically add some of the configuration uh, for our project. Okay, so before we did that, um, I will start with this plugin first, which is WP GraphQL. So WP GraphQL is a WordPress plugin that would actually bring the power of GraphQL to WordPress. So it will allow your front-end application, which is in React, to query WordPress data uh, using GraphQL at an endpoint, which will be at slash GraphQL. So let's say your WordPress website is example.com. It'll be at example.com slash GraphQL. So go ahead and uh, download this plugin from here and install it. Then we're going to need the uh, WP Graphical as well, which is actually used to have a playground, the GraphQL, GraphQL playground. And then we're going to need the ACF. We're going to need the ACF advanced custom field because we're using ACF for the post meta and then which will have a dependency on WP GraphQL ACF which is actually required uh, for us to query the ACF data from WordPress. And then this is the headless CMS plugin which I have created which actually extends the WP GraphQL in case if you would like to get some custom data and if the schema or the fields are not available for that data you can I'll go back here and I'll go to my plugins I'll just show you that it's been I have done that already so I've activated all of these plugins and I will now have the WP I now have the graph graphical which is actually the playground where I can do all my queries okay so for example if I want to get all of the posts I can do posts and how many do I want I, I want first so I want first 10 posts let's say I can do this I can get the uh, post using edges node and then the title of the post ID and let's say I want the excerpt and then hit it there you go so you can see that you've got a 10 post uh, latest 10 posts using this query isn't that really cool awesome and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and add some configuration to our site uh, in the front-end application so you go you can add the configuration into Gatsby config so I'll create a file called Gatsby config .js inside of my sites directory and um, and I'm just going to paste some code and then explain it to you okay so remember we installed the .env package and that is required so that you can uh, create an env file so you can see that I've created an env file here dot env if you haven't already you can create one and inside of this I have defined a variable called site URL so you can do that and then you can put your WordPress site URL over here so let's say your WordPress site URL is, is at example.com so you'll put like HTTP or HTTPS colon slash slash example.com in my case uh, mine is at uh, up subdirectory so I'll, I'll put that here okay so what this is going to do is uh, because we are using the .env package it's going to make this variable available inside of any of the node files uh, which is basically your common JS files inside of process.env dot whatever the variable name is in this case site URL okay so what we're doing is basically uh, we are just telling Gatsby which theme we are going to use into our project. So site is our project and I'm telling Gatsby, okay, go ahead and resolve this particular plugin for me because that's the plugin we are building. And then we are passing some options to this theme uh, by using WordPress URL and then we are doing process.env.site URL as I just explained so this site URL that we have defined here will be available here. The reason why we are doing this is because we don't want to push this information onto GitHub so this will be in Git Ignore. Okay, so since we've got this now we also need to create a config file inside of config.js inside of my uh, Gatsby theme okay and I'm just going to paste some code over here just to save time and I'll then explain it to you okay so inside of the config what do we have here so like I said this WordPress URL that we are passing from here uh, from our site uh, Gatsby config will be available to our themes Gatsby config and then I can use it okay and then you can define some of the site data that you want to use like title description author uh, 
Ideally, this should come from WordPress, but for now, I've just defined it here. And then whichever plugin you're going to use in Gatsby, it's important that you define them inside of plugin. You just need to tell Gatsby which are the plugins that you're going to use. If you just install them, it's not going to work automatically. Okay, so I'm, I'm using Helmet, I'm using Transformer Shop, Plugin Shop, SAS, uh, and then I'm using the file system. So this would require me to create uh, so if I want to get images, I can define my path, whichever directory I want to get my images. So in this case, I want to keep all my files. Generally, people keep it in source directory, so I'll keep it there. And then inside of source in my theme, uh, I will have images directory, and that's where all my images go. Then I have the plugin manifest. So this is required for the PW application, like what will be the theme, uh, background color, theme color, and you know, um, and also what will be the icon when the user opens your application on mobile. Okay, so I can add this favicon. I think I've already downloaded that. I'm just going to get that favicon, and I'm just going to paste it here. And uh, this is just the URL of that favicon. Okay, and this is the route where the your site should open up from when the user opens up your. Uh, app in mobile okay and this plugin like I explained to you this is for uh, getting the GraphQL data uh, you need to define a type name so I, I put that as SW GraphQL and then field name also so your data will be available under this field name and then the URL so like I said it'll be WordPress URL slash GraphQL that is the URL you'll be able to query the data from refetch interval means that uh, when you are developing is going to refresh the data during that interval so you can define your interval if you if you think 60 seconds is too low you can increase it because otherwise it'll keep rebuilding uh, every 60 seconds okay great and this is uh, this is for the offline feature which is PWA feature so we will come back to this later all right